Okay, here's the latest earthquake action, folks. I'm not going to click on the map. It just saves a lot of time just to go down and screw it across. And we'll give you the, the freshest. And basically, there's your magnitude to the left. And I'll drag it a little bit more to the right here. And as you can see, Gulf of California and also uh, Band of Sea also, okay? Because we're gonna take you to another site here in a second. I apologize for popping down to that too fast, but here we go. There's your magnitude, you got a lot of 6.0s, and there is a 7.0 today too. And just cruise down here. And you can see the website up here to the left in my, in private. And uh, I would suggest everybody to do that as much as you can. Just, uh, it's the way to shift yourself away from uh, Google knowing everything you did, which you're still going to know anyway, even when you take the time to do it, but it saves a lot of viruses and crap and stuff like that. So we go over to, to I'm going to have to lift that site in again. I screwed up and knocked that out. And here it is, Band of Sea, and basically, we all know it's 2012, and we'll stick over here with the 10 8th date, and basically this will go up and down. But, uh, you had a 7.0, can't miss that, it's in the green right there, 6.3, and they've had a lot of 6 points, 6.9, hell of a lot over there in the Band of Sea. And we're going to basically, we'll take you and show you that area of the, of the world. And basically, more than likely, we have a rise in seafloor in the South Indian Sea, Indian Ocean, uh, Band of Sea there still... Aftershocks are in 5.1, 4.9 area. And we just showed you the recent out in Cali and everything like that. And as you see so far in here, uh, it might be listed in here somewhere in the time, anything like that that it happened. Uh, I'm going to scroll back down through these that we've had here. I just gave you the other information there. And we'll also scroll over and look at USGS real fast. And we'll scroll through here to the second page. Once again, I'll tell you, it's basically, you know, this 2012, so we'll scoot over, and then we'll give you all the info here, okay? So, it quakes all over the place, and there's your Gulf of California action and everything like that, so, and it's just, and then they are getting smaller quakes on, and that's what we're saying, basically, I always say, like, the 7.0 that we had a long time ago, the last time the Giants in uh, athletics were at it, and uh, the odds of that is getting a little bit dimmer, but could possibly happen again as far as playing the baseball but as far as the quakes concerned at 7.0 did a lot of good uh settling of a lot of stuff uh, in the western united states and california because we do get a lot of smaller quakes don't get me wrong they're not that damn small because two point something or other but if we go right now to the this is basically california right here okay I'm not going to play with zooming in on it because it'll screw us all up for seeing everything that's going on in the world. So these are the not too f far ago, long ago, in 6.3. And that's what we're basically saying is everything over from Australia, from the from the ring of fire that we know of between all the Pacific, is basically getting a new area of craziness over in Indonesia and in the Indian Ocean area, which is basically actual factual. All this area here there seems to be a sea floor lift right here that a lot of us are catching on data and buoys and so forth and stuff like that but no one's straight out bluntly coming out that the pa we have a massive land movement you know coming up the floor is coming up the floor of the ocean in the india ocean area all this out here and all in these inlets and everything like that and there's tons of action as you see the freshest over there we had 6.3 north of australia and this is the massiveness of all the earthquakes that have been in the last 14 days and once again down there low there was a quake and then you see the massiveness of the hammering that's going on in puerto rico virgin islands can't repeat it enough i know it's getting very repetitive but is is very 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 large because basically i will try to bring up to show you the factual of all those quakes that are banging and it just doesn't seem, there you go, you get a good example, that long string of all those quakes that are up just right around the Mariana Trench, okay? Uh, having a little fun with uh, fighting 
Earthquake 3D Viewer, which is unusual, never happens to anybody, and that's a big joke for anybody that plays it a lot. They'll know that sometimes it's like, I didn't do that, and you come back and you got the whole world spinning around like a wild. It's just uh, supervisor control and data acquisition. So that big 6.0 in the Gulf of California there, and then all that stuff going on in the Banda Sea area over here, and basically what's goofy is they're not showing up down here too good. And let's go and I'll find the band to see for it because basically. And also Serbia getting a 5.3 is, you know, bamo. Person of convenience getting all kinds of action. Let's go to the graphs for a second and then we'll, we're going to go ahead and show you where band to see is at. Okay. And this is the band to see area, folks. So basically, do we have rise or fall there? Because the idea that we do show some crazy ass heights of the uh, Indian Ocean area out here okay so when you're looking at the map and you see India look way over here to the right and you got band of sea over here okay and basically you'll see it over here and basically on RSOE okay 6.3 but basically that sucker rocked at 7.0 to begin with so when we zoom into that area there you can end up seeing uh, the basically the slip and basically I could be wrong because there is different templates and stuff that you call uh, different as you can see if we're looking off Taiwan and you can see all these are these are all marked on Google Earth so when you start wanting to know about uh, earthquake stuff when you do look at the maps and stuff like that they are fault lines that are all over the world and they go through the ocean and basically, I might have to try to scope around to get down to there. So, and so you can see it's a rising area because the idea you can see all this land mass that basically these islands keep on appearing every once in a while. And then there's other areas where islands kind of somewhat fall into the water a little bit, but we're basically on a big rise over in that area. You can see all the fault lines there. And you can basically zoom in on them a little bit more. Just, I think I can click on that and not go crazy. And then it pops around. But there's, even no matter where I'm looking at in the world, these are all these pinkish lines and these reddish lines are all shelf out there in the ocean of known. And there here's Band of Sea with all of its action areas. So basically it's slipping around out there and there's where the epicenter of a lot of the quakes are. Okay, that's at 6.3. So more than likely there's underground volcano there. Uh, and or just all the plate movement from there are some basically I'll just zoom out a lot there are some volcanoes over there and there you go there's one volcano way up there and the idea that with the rising what if there's something like Yellowstone and it's underneath the ocean and it's a gigantic and you've already seen footage from over in, in the I'll just say uh, Middle East and stuff like that of uh, having uh, volcanoes out in the middle of the ocean that are, and also we have this up in the Mariana Islands area, okay? There's tons of volcanoes going on right now. And basically, you can see them on the map. Boom, 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 boom. Hawaii, there, there, there. And basically, you can cruise around and we even have them up. No, they're not shown right now, but there's some up in Iceland and Greenland area. Mexico. And there was an eruption over here. Okay. Sicily had an eruption on the 5th. Okay. Or at least activity. So, and then I can cruise down. Give you all the volcano action. They, they're telling you about it there. Epidemic hazards are seem to be a lot tying into being, uh, and there's a lot of earthquake information, and a lot of it seems to be, and there it is, Indonesian, Middle America, and Mexico, and basically volcano activity, volcano activity, super volcanoes, okay? It's trying to cool the earth, and basically those are our objects in space that are coming by that do give us space weather, okay? Watch the last half dozen videos. Got information on all this stuff that's coming around. Let me tell you something, folks. I've lived around the mammoth 
lakes area in the flatlands in the valley. And believe me, they get a little nervous when they get a quake, okay? So when it's get a 2.7, they know there's an old volcano up there, okay? Mammoth ski area, Mammoth Lakes area, California, they know the possibilities, okay? They do know that there's old volcano up there. And this is your latest here coming off the graph, and there's a 6.0 in Mexico, 6.3 in Indonesia. Basically, we just basically showed you the band of sea pretty much racked in at 7.0. And there's tons of earthquakes around the world, and it just depends on where you go for your information because USGS doesn't list everything. And like I was showing you on those other ones, it's better off to look around a lot. And we're just strolling around to the sixth, the fifth, and these, all these quakes have happened from the fourth. And we'll see what date they have on the first page of what they've got when we get down here. And you can always watch it on big screen and slowly stop back through anything you see and you're interested in. So they've got the list of like to the the first. Okay. And then we go back to looking at this and I've got it all loaded up with everything on here. And then you will see the actual factual that there are shitloads of earthquakes happening in the, in the world right now. Okay. And this is the last 14 days or so, and that's that big rack line there of everything in the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico area there, over by the Mariana Trench, and I almost can't even get it all to pop up there. Okay, of all that stringing and there, west coast of the United States, uh, I've showed you what's going on in the east coast, so they really don't, they keep that pretty much hush-hush. And it's very much true, I'll show you this one quick here, east coast, Virginia, 2.9 mil, mag. And there is the one up in Newfoundland, but I gotta stretch the map down here so you get the readings on these. And that's that one, 2.3. And these are all recent. I think if I go to the right, when I go up to the Canadian one, you'll be able to see 0.4 and all these other quakes too. And as I go to the right, you'll and yes, this is your Labrador Retriever. It's pretty much a lot of breeding was done there to Germany over the years, and that's what Labrador is named after. And that's what they had, 4.9 mag quake up there. And yes, folks, it's just above you on the East Coast. And I think I didn't get this one in. I'll pop that one in. 2.4 mil in Illinois. And let me go ahead and pop down and give you your graph that you look at for knowing all your color key for the days and stuff on this. And there it is to the right. These all are going on and happening, okay? And there's that one out in the sea that I told you about. And we'll mine this out a little bit more. And there's your quakes around the world recently. The red is the most recent. And like I say, when you go to different areas, this, this should show us the most recent. And the most recent it's showing right now is basically out in Cali. 2.7 against. At least it looks like Cali. Let's get it. Yep. Looks like Northern California, Sacramento area or something like that. Or at least probably that's probably the one that they had. That, that's a 2.7 that they had up in uh, in Mammoth Lakes area, California. Okay. Let me stretch out a little bit. And those are all these other quakes. So they're not all listed on here. Just ones that get pretty much registered USGS and so forth get on here not the European ones that I showed you this graph for and everything like that and they USGS does not like to tell you about the East Coast quakes which are happening these East Coast quakes are happening okay they are happening West Virginia Illinois okay this stuff in the Michigan area okay so this all this stuff is happening and then these other quakes are happening also, and they're not that damn old. These is even one to three days old, and I'll plop those out for you. Alabama. Okay. So, this is all going on. And modern marvels of technology, here's all the graphs throughout, and we'll just scroll and put it on big screen and blow this up. And if we scroll through here, you'll see that we got ink going on all over the world again. Everything picked up, just like I said. It would because of the large objects coming by in space. And there you go. If you don't believe me, there's Missouri. Okay. There's Oregon. Alaska. Florida. There's all kinds of quakes going on that you're going to hear stuff and feel a little bit around them. There's Texas. 
And then we just scroll real fast to get everything in here. Norway solid ground shaking.